your admin has notified you that you can't log into your database user account anymore, that you need to use your IAM user name and password to authenticate to the, uh, your autonomous database. So how do you do that? Well, here's a diagram of how it works, and this is described uh, in another video in a series of videos of configuring and setting up uh, IAM integration with the autonomous database. But from the front end, from, from the end user perspective, the, the parts don't change. The tools, the clients for password authentication uh, using IAM does not change. Now, there's also token authentication that's covered in a separate, uh, using uh, tokens that's covered in a separate uh, video. But uh, in using a username and password, you're switching from using a database username and password to IAM username and password. So if you just recently got an OCI IAM account, make sure that it's been verified. So that means that you got an email and you need to go in and set up, uh, 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 change the password and uh, log into the OCI console. It's what it looks like for your user console in OCI. And you need to set up a, an IAM database password. This is different than your OCI console password. The database password is under resources on the left side. You click on that link and you get the blue box to create the database password. Once you create the password, you'll see it listed underneath there. And you can delete that in the future by clicking on the uh, three dots on the right. Here's a create database password GUI. All right, once you got the database password, uh, you should be ready to go. Uh, what I want to do is just give you a quick background on how this works since an IAM schema, or an IAM username, isn't uh, associated with a schema until uh, your DBA uh, sets this up using these uh, uh, mappings between what we call global schemas and IAM users and groups. So global schema is just one that's identified, a, a, a database user that's identified globally. And this is mapped to a username, John Doe. This is called an exclusive mapping because a single schema is mapped to a single user. Now, you can also have a shared schema, a shared global schema, and this is created in a similar way, but you're, instead of being mapped to a single user, it's mapped to a group. And there you can have one or more, maybe 1,000 users that are members of that group, that when they log in using their IAM credentials, they will land in the global schema and share the same schema. Now, you can also be optionally mapped to a global role. So you can have a differentiation of roles within the same shared schema. And that's using uh, another mapping, uh, creating a, a role that's identified globally, so that's a global role. Global roles cannot be granted to a schema. It can only be mapped to an IAM group. And if you are a member of that group, you will get this global role when you uh, authenticate and are authorized to the database. Now, if you are mapped uh, using groups instead of exclusive, you'll notice the, the groups in uh, your OCI user console. You can see one that's mapped to a global role, another one that's mapped to the shared schema. You have to be mapped to a schema, whether it's exclusive or shared, uh, because you have to land in a schema within the database when, you, uh, when you're authorized. From the SQL Plus perspective and the database clients, any supported client, uh, currently supported client, will work. As long as it's 12.1 or above, it has to be able to use a 12C verifier or the 12C password. If uh, it's an older client, uh, it can be patched to uh, support and be able to provide 12C passwords. Uh, the way to connect the SQL Plus with autonomous database, the same that it's been uh, before, there's no change with that. You still download the SQL Plus with the client. You download the wallet from the autonomous database. And then you update the SQL data.org file in the TNS admin variable. And then use the command line to sign in. Uh, if you're using an email name, you'll notice uh, you need to double quote that. Here's what the demo will look like. And let's bring up the demo screen. And so, this is connected with 
uh, the autonomous database is connected with IAM. However, you can still have local users, so like this admin account, and connect uh, to that locally without having to uh, use an IAM username and password for that. So it will support both global users at the same time it's using uh, local users. So in this case, we connected to the uh, local admin uh, schema. You can also log into uh, IAM user, and you can say that's connected. You can also log into uh, a username which has uh, an email format. Remember to set the double quotes around the uh, email address, and there it's connected. Well, authenticating uh, uh, access uh, to the database is not that interesting. Let's take a look at some of the user end uh, 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 values uh, for this connection. So we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at current user. And this, uh, this IAM user was mapped to a group that was then, well, it was a member of a group in IAM that was mapped to the user shared uh, schema in the database. So that shows you the, uh, um, it shows the name of the schema, not the IAM user. So let's take a look at the uh, session roles. And you can see that it picked up a global role, a senior DBA global role, based on the membership in, the, in another group in IAM. Take a look at the authenticated identity for the user. The authenticated identity shows as the IAM username. So the enterprise identity is interesting. And this shows the OSID, the Oracle Cloud ID, for the user. The authentication method shows password global, showing it's a global uh, uh, directory uh, based authentication and it's using password. And let's see, this is, should be TCPS for network protocol, because this is uh, with the autonomous with the wallet. And let's look at the identification type is global shared. So it's a global shared scheme. If it was a one-to-one -one mapping, it will be glo global exclusive. 